Dr. Sharma, President of the Moon Young Korea in Gold Program this afternoon. The Assam government is conducting COVID-19 vaccination drive for children ages 12 to 14 in different parts of the state. The drive was launched by Chief Minister Junata Bishop Sharma on March 16, 2022. He asserted that Corbovic vaccine is safe and has no side effects. The drive aims to cover all children of 12 to 14 years within the state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Assam on 28 April 2022 and laid the foundation of and laid the foundation stone for several projects in Assam. Prime Minister Modi also attended the Peace, Unity and Development Rally at the Pune in Garbi Yango District yesterday. Prime Minister Modi will have traditional focus on the clinical ground in the river Assam. Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that if any country intervenes in Moscow's military operation in Ukraine, Russia will launch a quick fire military response. In the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson, a service of a social square on Wednesday at Tempura Minimo, Russian journals on the air. The Union and Russian news of nations reported. Manchester City and Liverpool were the first lack of new final in the Champions League football. Delhi Capital team defeated Kolkata Knight Riders by four wickets in the ongoing IPL cricket tournament. Who did get the selected player of the match? German school is conducting cultural and media rugby. COVID-19 vaccination drive for children of 12 to 14 years is launched on March 12, 16, 2022. Russian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Assam. Russian President issued new trade countries intervening in Ukraine. Thanks for watching the US News Channel. See you all in the next episode. Hey, before we begin the bulletin of today's news, I said it now. I would like to appeal to everyone to stay safe from COVID-19. Continue to take precautions such as wearing a face mask, washing your hands and face regularly, and maintaining physical distancing. It's time to stay outside. Remember, even though the vaccination drive has begun, the simple precautions will help us defeat the pandemic. Now, let's get into the headlines of the day. No need to panic, says Prime Minister on warring power, fevers during heat waves. Prime Minister Modi warning on rising temperatures fire up across India. Congress slams Prime Minister Modi over his appeal to states to reduce value tax, added tax on fuel prices. Kerala government brings back Marxist rule as COVID cases surge. Violation punishable. Prime Minister to meet with Chief Minister official to review Indian's COVID situation. India locks 2,927 COVID-19 cases in 24 hours, 17 percent higher than yesterday. Prime Minister Modi to go on a 3D visit on to Germany, Denmark, France from May to 4. So that's it in this bulletin. Thank you for your time. This is Lisa Sharma from Class Time with latest news headlines from around the world. Mukesh Ambani Reliance Industry on Wednesday become the first India company to cross 19 lakh crores in market capitalization. India has reported 3,303 COVID-19 cases, 2,563 recoveries and 39 deaths in the last 24 hours, according to the Minister of Health and Family. <laughs> Foreign Minister Subramanya of Deshankar on three-day visit to Bangladesh and Bhutan. Delhi High Court to share bill paid of Umar Khalid. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was visited as on 28 April to address the peace unity of Development rally at the Fu in Kirby along the street. During the program, PM Modi laid the foundation stone of various projects in the education sector. The Prime Minister also laid the foundation stone of veterinary college at the Fu Degree College at the Fu Degree College at West Kirby along and Agriculture College in West Kirby along. During the program, the Prime Minister also laid the foundation stone more than 2,950 Amit Server projects. The Prime Minister also reached Assam Medical College, Dibrugod, and dedicated Dibrugod Cancer Hospital to the nation. KTF Chapter 2 became the third highest grossing film in Hindi. PM to dedicate the nation seven cancer hospital and lay the foundation stone of seven new cancer hospitals across the Assam. Thank you. Good morning, respected headmaster, teachers, judges, and my dear friends. 
myself, Michael Fagon, standing behalf of Yellow House to deliver a short minute news appear. So I'd like to start at the top headline, Pulwama a day, the black day. On February, on 14 February, marks the third anniversary of the Pulwama a day. Three years ago, on 14 February, Jammu and Kashmir witnessed one of the deadliest attacks on the Indian security force. This attack resulted in the death of 40 CRP F. Javan. Pakistan's best terrorist group, J.E. Mohammed, that is J.E.M., claimed responsibility for the attack. Information of Pulwama attack 2019. A convoy of 78 vehicles was transporting more than 22,500 Central Reserve Police Force personnel from Jammu to Srinagar. It was traveling on National Highway 44 when the incident took place. A car carrying explosive ran into the bus in which the CRPF. It caused a blast that killed 40 CRPF personnel of the 76 battle lion on the spot and injured many others. The martyrdom of the Indian Brave Heart did not go in vain as the countries avenged it by bombing several territory camps on Pakistani soil. A PM also decided the design and manufacture main battle tank Arjun Mark A1A to the nation. The Indian Army and other security forces paid homage to the Pole and soldiers of the Central Reserve Police Force. Thank you for your precious time. Good morning to our and all present here today, myself. All Mr. Ramal Student Class Day is here to acknowledge you in today's headlines. So here it goes. Firstly, let's move to the state news. Guwahati women attempt to fight by jumping off primary flyover saved by Dr. Assam Congress rise to the speaker with Saji Diary in the disqualification of MLA Sarman Ali. Secondly, let's move to national news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to interact with Chief Minister today to review COVID-19 situation in the country. Thirdly, let's move to international news. The European Commission triggers rule of low budget mechanism against Hungary. ISIL boosts security around PM Benin and his family after death threat. Fourthly and lastly, let's move to sport news. Both Kerala will play Karnataka in the first semi-final on Thursday while Bengal is still against Manipur in the second semi-final on Friday. The players who have assembled here include three of years from the side of Rome, the staff 18 women championship title earlier this year. Thank you. Morning, respected teachers and friends. Jay one, uh, one sir, but coronavirus death last year again. Now some there are 1,247 deaths talking the country overall COVID deaths. The fifth case got in the country currently stands at 15,636 according to the government. The case and the fifth case stands at 0.04%. The recovery is currently at 97.0%. Good morning everyone, myself Sonia Sarma from Greenhouse. Today I will be reporting some news. Firstly, number one, youngest coronavirus patient discharged from Hyderabad Hospital. Number two, successful cardiac surgery on 24 days all 700 gram baby in Gujarat. Number three, 110 years old men beat COVID-19 in Hyderabad. Number four, Gujarat MLA Jignesh Mevani arrested by Assam police over his tweet. Number five, former Assam Congress president joined Trinamool Congress. Number six, Rajasthan government announced free ambulance service for COVID-19 patients. Number seven, workers tried to pressure Sri Lanka president to step down. Number eight, three Arunachal villages come together to... My name is Vivek Shastri, standing behind Bob Yellow House. Now to deliver a short speech, the topic is coronavirus, COVID-19. Most of people... Good morning to my respective teachers, friends and judges. Today I am delivering news. Firstly, the war is an ongoing between Russia and Ukraine. It began in February 2014 following the Ukrainian and initially focused on the status and parts of the Donbass. 
internationally recognized as part of Ukraine. The first eight years of the conflict included the war in Donbass between Ukraine and Russia, back as well as naval incidents and political. Following a Russian military build-up on the Russia-Ukraine border from late 2021, the conflict expanded significantly when Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine on 24 February 2022. On 21 February 2022, Russia officially recognized the two self-proclaimed states in Donbass and openly sent troops into the territory. Three days later, Russia invaded Ukraine. Much of the international community has commanded Russia for its actions in past revolutionary Ukraine, accusing it or breaking international law and violating Ukraine. Thank you.